Today we are covering a brief historical recap over the Roman Empire. Rome was founded by the legendary brothers Romulus and Remus in 753 BCE. Together, the brothers founded the Roman Kingdom, which lasted until 509. In 509 BCE, the Roman Republic was created, and Rome went through a period of expansion. Then, in 27 BCE, the Roman Republic was brought to an end when the Roman Empire was founded, which had an autocratic form of government with an emperor who was worshipped like a god. By the 2nd century CE, Rome had stopped expanding and reached its greatest territorial extent in 117 CE during the rule of Emperor Trajan. Rome's territory stretched from the Persian or Parthian Empire in the east, covering modern-day Iran, Iraq, the Levant region, and into Saudi Arabia. It also stretched across the coast of North Africa and expanded all the way to the British Isles in the west, covering modern-day France, Spain, and much of southern Germany. By 117 CE, the Roman Empire stretched some 5 million square kilometers, or almost 2 million miles. This territorial expansion took its toll on the empire, as it had reached a point of overexpansion. Effectively ruling, securing, and managing an empire of this size came at a tremendous cost both financially and in manpower. The empire had fewer than 500,000 soldiers, and some historians estimate that to have properly secured the territory, Rome would have needed at least 3 million. Another issue faced by Rome was that they were increasingly struggling to find military recruits within Italy, and by the time of Emperor Hadrian, successor to Trajan, only 10% of Rome's army actually consisted of Italians, meaning the bulk of their forces were made up of conquered peoples. Rome increasingly relied on hiring mercenary soldiers as their own forces couldn't manage to secure the frontier. From year 180 to 476, Rome experienced over a hundred instances of armed violence and challenges to sitting emperors by usurpers. These reoccurring challenges to the throne meant sitting emperors had to bring more troops back from the front to Italy which weakened Rome's control and security in frontier and border regions, allowing barbarian tribes to gain territory and influence. This slide shows the map of Rome at its greatest extent under Emperor Trajan. You can see the empire's expanse from the Middle East, North Africa, and across Europe. To help better manage the crumbling empire, the Emperor Diocletian split the empire into two parts creating the Byzantine Empire or Eastern Roman Empire in 330 CE, which stretched from the Eastern Europe and its seat of power in modern-day Turkey and into the Middle East and Egypt. The Emperor Constantine renamed the Eastern capital to Constantinople in 330, which today is known as Istanbul. The Eastern Empire outlived its Western Roman counterpart and did not fall until 453 to the Ottoman Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire increased in wealth and power, and between the 5th and 13th centuries, Constantinople was one of the wealthiest cities in Europe. The western half of the Roman Empire, meanwhile, did not fare as well. The Western Roman Empire began to face serious opposition from Germanic tribes like the Goths in the 300s, and in 410, the Visigoth King Alaric shocked the empire by sacking the capital city of Rome itself. In 476, a Roman soldier led a revolt and deposed or overthrew the last emperor of the Western Empire, Romulus Augustulus. Therefore, the Roman Empire is officially brought to an end in the year 476. This date typically is used to mark the end of the Roman period and the start of the medieval era or the Middle Ages. Here is a map showing the different major invasions of the Roman Empire. Note that the Western Roman Empire took the brunt of the invasion forces from 100 to 500 CE, leading to its eventual downfall. When the Western Empire fell, Europe was divided into small warring tribes or kingdoms, fighting to take control of the former empire territory. The once powerful Roman army could no longer maintain peace and stability across Europe. Due to the empire's breakup, an era of kingdom building by Germanic tribes ensues. You can see from the maps below that by 476, the Western Roman Empire had been much reduced from its former territorial glory of the Trajan years in 117. 